Hello everyone and welcome to another Hallow Sees It review. Today I am reviewing Longhorn by Blue Orange Games and it is designed by Bruno Cathala and Vincent Dutrait is the artist for this game and uh, it is a fantastic little two-player game um, reminiscent of somewhat of Five Tribes uh, which I haven't been able to play yet myself, but by the same designer. And this is a great little two-player game. Uh, it takes about maybe 15 minutes to play. It plays very quickly. Inside the box you'll find uh, two little uh, cardboard uh, tokens here to keep track of who, which is the which player is who. We have Jesse Artist Bird and Mr. Eagle Perkins. And the game is themed uh, in the Old West, and you are both taking on uh, the identity of some cattle thieves. And you have this little wooden token. Uh, the game comes with little stickers of each of the uh, guys here that you will apply to this little uh, red wooden token. It comes with 36 cattle pieces, little meeples, very, very cool little meeples. Um, there are four different colors and there are nine cows in each color. Then over here we have uh, the uh, location uh, boards here and they are, um, they're, they have the same picture really on both sides here. Um, and so each of those you'll notice is basically just a picture. Uh, there's uh, the most important thing here is the uh, cattle number on each of these. So this one, uh, Nugget Hill, has uh, six. Uh, but you'll see there's other numbers here. There's four, five, four, two, three, four, four, and four. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah, nine of these, okay? And so you'll be playing uh, with these nine cards in each game, but you'll shuffling them up and uh, the layout will be different. It will be always in a three by three grid, uh, but there is some uh, randomness as far as shuffling and the layout of these. Um, other than that, there is some other little cardboard tokens that will fit on this kind of uh, differently shaded area uh, for each of those. And these little tokens will be randomized each game. Um, they're actually uh, up here so you can see kind of how many of each of these. There are 19 of these so uh, you won't be playing with all of these each time. So there's some more randomness to it. Um, there's a rattlesnakes, there's a sheriff, there's a drought, I believe that one was called. Um, we have a branding, uh, some ambush tokens, some gold nuggets, some snake oil. And we'll discuss what those each do as we uh, set up the game and take a look at it. But as far as uh, talking about quality of components in this first segment, uh, very, very good components. Uh, I really like the little detailed uh, cattle meeples here. And, uh, but yeah, pretty straightforward, good quality stuff. The rule book is this little guy. It's pretty thick, but it's because it actually has um, a few languages in here. Um, so this actually, the first three pages, uh, double-sided, is the uh, English uh, rules here. So um, very, very simple game. Let's go ahead and set it up, uh, take a look at how it plays, and I'll give you my thoughts. All right, we are all set up for a, our game here. And uh, what I did was I uh, randomized these tiles, put them out, shuffled these up, and uh, put those out randomly. I did draw the uh, sheriff token for this game. And whenever the sheriff token is in play, it must be placed on this tile here, Nugget Hill, which uh, has the most cattle uh, six so and that'll make sense as you play the game and maybe you'll see that here through the example but 
um, we shuffle those up, we deal those out, and then we go through and we shuffle up all the, the cattle and randomly deal out that many uh, shown on that location tile, four, 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 six, five, etc. So we're all set up. And to determine the beginner player, you're just going to toss this up in the air. Whoever, uh, whoever's pitcher comes up first is the starting player. And the other player at that point uh, determines where the starting player is going to start the game. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so, um, oh, and they, they must place uh, the starting person on a location that has uh, four cattle. So the six, five, three, and two, um, there's four of those, but then the remainder are uh, four cattle. Um, because it would be really, really uh, nice to be able to have the person start here because they would only get one cow, uh, very few cattle on this tile here. But I have to pick somewhere with uh, four, um, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do it up here, Kid Copper's Ranch. Okay, so then uh, a turn uh, consists of stealing cattle and then moving and uh, turning over the outlaw token to the other player. Quite simple. So to steal cattle, um, you just you take all of the cattle of one color. So I can take either one white, one orange, or I can take two gray. Now, depending on what I choose to do, is going to uh, it's going to influence or determine really um, how many moves that I will make. So if I choose either white or orange, I'm only going to be able to move the token one space. Now again, I'm setting up my opponent at this point in time to how many cattle that they're going to be able to take. Um, and so there's lots of different things to think through here, but uh, you can only move orthogonally. So I'm looking at my opponent ending here or starting here on this tile or this tile if I choose one of these. Or, um, well, I think I want more cows with the gray, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the two gray. I will show you an example. So two, I can move him one, two, or one, two. Um, so I can reach pretty much everywhere except for these ones over here in this corner. Um, and I am going to move him one, two. And then I'm gonna flip that over, signify that my opponent, my opponent's turn. Okay, so very, very simple there. And the object of the game is you're trying to collect these cows, which will be worth uh, points or money at the end of the game. And each has an interesting scoring component because each of these cows, again, there's nine of the four colors. And so I just took two cows off the table. So that means that there are seven cows still remaining gray cows on the table. And so these are worth right now $700 each. So they're worth $100 for each uh, gray cow that's still on the board. So as I remove more and more gray cows, they're not going to be worth as many points as the game goes on, but I'll, I'll have more of them. So it's kind of interesting. And as your players, you know, choosing their... Uh, what colors they're going to take that's definitely something that can influence because if uh, for example on this person's turn here uh, they know that I just took two gray cows um, if they take two gray cows that basically cancels out our cows and it also makes the gray cows worth less points um, and at this point so he doesn't have a choice he's gonna have to move his do token uh, for the next player uh, two times either way whatever he's choosing here so he chooses the gray to go even steven with him and he's going to go back up here and you now he can determine where he will move that to now let's let's just assume that uh, he goes back up here flips it over um, he has 
and let's assume just for purposes of this that the, the white cow was previously taken off so he ends here now that's when these little tiles come into play in the corner otherwise throughout the game there's not going to be uh, you know evaluated or uh, used up or anything so at this point in time it's the beginning of this person's turn there's only one cow remaining so he will take that and now this is has to be resolved and that so no more cows on here this thing has to be resolved uh, some most of these are good things but some are bad uh, this one here is an ambush token which basically means that I can either take a gold nugget which is another one of these little action type tiles uh, on this board we have a few of those um, and so I can randomly choose one of those uh, will randomly get one of those for my opponent or I can take two cattle of one color Okay, so you get a little symbology, iconology there to help out with that. So after I resolve that, um, that gets discarded. And then I would move my one space and flip it over. And that's the game. Uh, the goal of the game is to have that, but there's some other ways that you uh, can lose the game. And that is the uh, sheriff token here. Um, Again, it started with this most on here, and it changes the dynamic of the game quite a bit if you're playing with the sheriff token. Because what happens there is if for some reason you are at a spot where your opponent has moved you to Nugget Hill, there's only one cow left, uh, it is going to be. Uh, the end of the game because as soon as you take this you have to resolve this and you are arrested all right and I'm back sorry someone someone was at the door so um, yes so if you are left to take the last cow and you have to resolve the sheriff token basically that means that you've been arrested and the other player wins so it definitely changes the dynamic um, of the movement and everything but this won't be in play each time either so it's it's kind of cool that way but so that is the sheriff token and i can explain some of the other ones here the other rattlesnake one here um and it's kind of interesting so you have the the rattlesnake and the sheriff token they're kind of this orange background uh this one here is um epidemic that's what they call it epidemic and I don't know why this one isn't orange as well because it's kind of a bad thing but I guess it's beneficial to the player who gets it I guess uh, or it could be anyway um, if you get the ep epidemic one there's only one of these uh, action tiles you're never gonna have more than one but it ch can also change the game dramatically um, basically what happens is this person gets to choose um, basically there's an epidemic and all the cows all the cattle of one excuse me all of one color are removed from the board now that can be very interesting because um, for example let's say let's just do example here of the person any starting here they choose the white cattle here um, which means they have to resolve this immediately they can look at the board here he's going to be moving one space well with that uh, combination there he can kill off all of the gray cattle now there's only two left on the board at this point and he could remove both from Nugget Hill move the opponent to Nugget Hill there's only one cow cattle there he would have to take that and he would lose the game so that'd be a perfect way to use that epidemic um, also you know you just have to look at the board but you'd also want to see okay my opponent really is doing well with black or white or whatever color it may be and you remove all those cows or cattle from the board and those aren't worth zero points now because there's no uh, cattle on the board so very very interesting but the uh, rattlesnake for one it's uh, you have to resolve that it scares away your cattle you take one from each uh, color 
So if you only have three of the colors, then you just take three cows um, or cattle. I don't know why I keep saying cows. Um, but you take those three and uh, then you would put them uh, orthogonally adjacent uh, here to that tile. So if this one was cleared and I was resolving that, then I could put all three in this tile or I could put, you know, one there, two there, a white and a gray, and the gray over here on this other one. So you're able to split them up uh, how you like, but it's uh, pretty significant losing those three uh, cattle. Uh, this one here is a branding one, and that basically allows you, um, oh, the branding one, which does that one do? Oh, you discard it, the token, and then you take all of the cattle uh, from an adjacent uh, region uh, or location orthogonally. So if I ended here at this point, there's no cattle on these two, but I would take all of the cattle from an adjacent uh, location tile um, of the same color. So I'd be able to take these two and um, since this cleared this tile, this is just discarded. Nothing happens with that. Um, so that's another thing to consider too, is if you're in a spot where you just cleared this um, and you, let's see, okay. So as the beginning of your turn, um, there's one cattle, you have to take this one. Well, at this point you can't end a movement on an empty thing anymore. So uh, the only move that they can do is to move up here, which there's only one cow, so that doesn't look good. Well, he's cleared this though, and with the branding icon, he can take the all the colors, same color cattle from one place. So he could take this, and this isn't resolved at this point, and it's just discarded. Now this would also end the game because he can no longer move to any of the locations, but it saved him from losing the game by being caught by the sheriff. Um, the other tokens in here, um, there's some gold ones, there's a 200 and then there's a couple of 300s and a couple of 400s. Um, the other one here, the snake oil, uh, also a little iconology here, you get to take your turn again. So you would be able to, uh, if you cleared this tile, you discard this, but instead of moving and flipping it over to your opponent, you're going to leave it and then you can take a cow and move again for your turn. So that's how the game plays out. It's really, really fun. I've really enjoyed it. And um, I, I just, it's a great two player game. Um, and I love playing two player games with my wife. We really like uh, Yapur and uh, games like that. So this is just right up our alley. Really fun game. Um, eight and up, little, uh, you know, children can, I think, easily kind of grasp this game as well. Um, maybe not some of the more in-depth strategy because there is quite a bit of strategy to it as well but it is a fun fun little game so go ahead and check it out Longhorn uh, published by Blue Orange Games designed by Bruno Cathala and uh, it is just uh, fantastic really fun uh, easily understood and taught and quality of the components are great uh, and it really does play in like less than 15 minutes uh, so and you got a lot of different uh, things in here with the placement of these tiles the placement of these little action things that really kind of change up the game you have the randomness of you know the number of uh, colors certain colors on each location so really really fun the rule book is very well done um, has great little uh, examples and illustrations here to depict the game. So uh, really enjoy this one, Longhorn.